Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I am a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and I am owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. We're going to ask a very simple question today. What is true about you? And it's one of those things where as I ask that question, I'm sure in many of our stories, so many negative labels, loaded language comes to mind about all of our you know, flaws, all of our deficits, all of the things that we might leverage against ourselves. But I'm going to ask again, what is true about you? Not what does your fear say about you? Not what did critical voices in your story say about you? Not what did critical peers say about you? Not what does someone say about you who doesn't even like you, someone who has a low tolerance of you? What would the people you love say about you? What would the people who uh, admire, there we go, and respect you say about you? Accurate language matters immensely. And unfortunately, a lot of us don't take time to pause and say, what is true about me? Am I kind? Am I compassionate? Am I altruistic? Do I, you know, assume generously about other people? Do I, you know, lead with kindness and generosity? And pardon me if I'm being redundant, but sometimes we don't take accurate inventory of who we are. And if we don't know who we are, then we don't know how to go around and live organically and authentically in the world around us. Asking what is true about me is a vital question. And if all we can come up with are the negatives and the pejorative and the labels and the nasty language, there's some work to do. And I get it. We don't want to walk around with confidence or false confidence or arrogance about I'm so great and I'm so lovely. But I bet there are great things about you. I bet there are lovely things about you. And if those words don't come to mind, you are not living out accurately who you are because we all have gifts to give, we all have inherent value, we all have worth, we all have stories, we all have good things about us. If we never stop to say what is true about me and we let fear run the script or we let critical voices from our past run the script or we let rejection run the script, it's, it's a pretty dark and murky place to camp out. So I'm going to ask again, what is true about you? Would you be willing to grab a pen and a paper and write down a few things, a few character pieces that you lead with that you want to impart and give to the world around you? Knowing what is true about us is for many people the launching point for growth, the launching point for change, the launching point for living authentically. But if we never stop long enough to ask, hey, what is actually true about me? Then we let our fear speak, we let the critical voices in our lives speak, we let a lot of inaccuracy speak. What is true about you? I'd love for you to explore that. If you need guided exploration, I can be your guide. That is absolutely a-okay. Feel free to reach out. But I want to invite you into today pondering with you know some compassion and just some honesty what is actually true about me and see if we can um, edit some of the scripts that might be running that speak poorly.